Hi, my name is Bill Jinder. I'm director of Artec Homes. Uh, I founded this business with my partner Ramona and we have, we have been running this business for the last five years very successfully. We have built a numerous number of homes. Actually, we've crossed more than 100 homes already. Now we are looking into the next stage of our growth. Uh, however, we also wanted to bring more transparency as we grow into the business. Therefore, we have invested a lot into our IT system and also we would like you to know our teams we work with. Um, this is the first video on the series of many videos to come where you will get to see our trade suppliers or certifiers working with us to bring your beautiful home into life. So through this series of videos you will get to know people, you will get to see their experience, you will get to see their quality and you will get to see their expert advice on how things get done and how they do their job. So today we are taking you through to the planning and approval video and today you will be meeting our CDC private certified teams and they have been with us for the last four years and it's, this relationship has been going great. My name is George and I'm the director of CDC private certifiers and this is my team uh, starting on, on this side here we have Simma who's part of our admin team and we have Anthony here on the certifying team my wife Tanya, who's head of admin and uh, financials, and we have Georgie here, who's a part of the certifying team as well. Chris, another certifier, and Mary, who's uh, admin as well. Um, we've been working with Artec Homes for about four years now, and um, have been doing most of their uh, certification on their jobs. The good thing about private certification is it's a different stream from getting. Uh, an approval. You can either get an approval from the council or you can get an approval from someone like me in the private sector and uh, the, the rules are different and, and you need the design team, that's where Artec come into it. You need to have a good design team uh, to work out what's the best advantage for your land, for your site and, uh, and to put it into practice with the construction as well and Artec uh, handle the design and the construction. Um, with ways of getting approval, you can get um, a DA from the council and it can take anywhere between six, six to eight months before you've started your process to actually um, turning soil on site. And the other option is you can get an approval through me direct. Um, me acting as, the, as, as a council figure, as a public figure. And um, that's called complying development. And the uh, minimum time, uh, is it's, it's a streamlined uh, an approval process where you can actually start your design and be, be uh, on site digging within about two to three to four weeks, depending on uh, the conditions of your site and, and where it is located uh, in, in Sydney. And that, that, that approval is um, based on uh, state rules instead of your local government, your local council rules. So they're the two options to do. That's where you need Artec to come into it and, and uh, liaise with us. And we'll come up with, uh, with them trying to find the approval for you and get you on site and get you to start building. We're, we're proud that we've been with Artec for this long. Since they've started, since we've started, we've sort of grown together. We've been at, uh, together for a couple of years now and it's been a good partnership. They understand the rules, they are very quality driven and we try to be uh, quality driven as well and be innovative uh, using new technologies, using um, what, what we have uh, to get the best outcome for, for you as the client for, and for neighbours and the, the community in general. Hi, my name is Georgie and one of the aspects of our role is that we do a lot of inspections and we've got five mandatory inspections and there's one that's right before uh, the CDC is approved and on there we look at any of the compliance issues, if you know there's a bushfire zone, we've got to look for fire hydrants, um, anything sort of like that and also if there were any trees. Um, now starting off with the first main one after the CDC is approved, we look at before pouring any concrete, for whether it be for the piers or footings, and also before pouring of the concrete for the slab. And uh, after that, we look at the frames, making sure that everything is built well, the steel is in place, all the windows are in order, 
and also the, the nails, the roof and the frames are tied down. Um, after that the jupot goes up and we also look at the waterproofing, making sure that there's no water that can leak through from the bathrooms or the laundry into the house. Um, and we also look at storm water, making sure that there's enough drainage, uh, sufficient enough not to go into the neighbour's property um, and it's all going as per what the engineer had organised. Um, and then at the, at the end we've got the final inspection, making sure that everything has, has been built perfectly. Um, you know, the steps are correct, the landscape is up, the fences are up and also everything's in working order like the smoke alarms, the lights, uh, the hot water and everything's connected as in, with the rainwater tank at the same time. You know, the, one of the main things that we really look for is that the, the builders have made sure that they've kept to the plan um, and that they're always compliant with the building code of Australia. Um, we're not so much as in quality control, we're just making sure that they're doing their job properly and making sure that the house is going to be built solid and uh, going to be standing for, you know, until the end of the times. Hi, my name is Anthony. So two certificates as PCAs that we can issue is a construction certificate, which is a day consent you get from council with required conditions and stand plans where they require you to uh, make amendments or if it's fine, it just goes ahead as a CC. So another certificate and issue is a compliant de development certificate. Uh, so an important document we'll need is a section 10.7. This will help, help us determine if it's a flood or bushfire zone. If it is either one of the two, we'll do a report from a specialist to determine the level of zone it is. Uh, another important document we need is a title search. This will help us determine if there's easements or if there's any restrictions on the lot. So another important document is obviously the architectural plans. This will help us determine if it complies with state laws, uh, along with the engineering plans and stormwater plans, which are designed by engineers. So where our take comes in is when they send us the architectural plans and we make sure it complies with all the state laws, along with all the engineering um, the certificates. Once we're satisfied with all these documents, we can issue our approval. Hi, I'm Sima. I'm part of admin team. Uh, we, we look after the paperwork and we check if we have got all the documents, put them in correct form and hand it over to the certifiers to get it approved. And we also book inspections and we make sure that every inspection is being done on correct time. Yes, and speaking about inspections, I'm also part of the CDC private certifying team and my job is to get the inspections together. Um, report to government, which is a requirement at the moment. We have to report everything to government and um, we uh, make sure that everything is flowing smoothly and that everything um, that does get reported to government must be correct and approved. Hello, my name is Tanya. I remember roughly four years ago, Belginda walking into George's office um, and when they made plans to have a business relationship together. Uh, Belginda had big plans to be building high quality homes. Obviously that has been successful because it's been uh, obvious his business growth. George and Belginda have worked together to make sure that things are efficiently done in a timely manner. The future is looking bright for both CDC private certifiers and Artec Homes. Uh, we look forward to continuing the business relationship and the growth um, for our tech providing high quality homes for um, families to having a better quality life.